So I've been going through the comments from yesterday's video and there's two comments that I keep seeing a lot of. One is that you really love to see Jake in the videos and the other one is that we shouldn't have put this one inside the pressure pot. Now the reason being is that the kernels were unable to pop due to the pressure from inside the pot. So in this episode we're going to do it again but this time we'll do it outside of the pot that way we can see what's happening and I've also got myself a heat gun here so we can check exactly how hot the resin's getting. I'm going to pour a bit more art cast this time. We're going to do about 400 mils. Then we'll put it into the vacuum chamber to get rid of all the air. While that's backing down, I'm going to go get Jake. So what did I miss? Well, the video yesterday we did, the subscribers said that when we put the kernels inside the pot, the pressure of the pot wasn't allowing the kernels to pop. So I've got some resin in the back chamber, we're going to try it again, see if we can get them to pop. Sweet. So now that we have our degassed resin, I'm going to pour it into this other container, that way we'll have a nice view in case those kernels do pop. How many kernels do you reckon we should put in? Uh, I think for this one let's do four. four. So I guess now the kernels are in, it's just a waiting game. We can check to see what the resin temp's at, I know it's starting to get a little warm. Let's see what we got. We're currently at 71 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure what temperature popcorn pops at. Do you want to check for me, Jake? Yeah, sure. Oh, didn't know that. It actually has to be around about 180 degrees. 180? Well, we are generating a bit of steam, so let's see what we're at now. We're at 95. I'm not too sure if we'll get there. Wow, it's starting to get really hot now. Let's check it again. 135. Man, we're getting close. It'd be great if we could see one of these pop. Oh, yeah. Alright, we've got to be getting close now. What are we at? We're sitting at about 160. 160. 20 degrees off. I reckon we'll get there. Look at that, one kernel is releasing some air, can you see it? Yeah. We've got to be close. Well, I hate to say it, but I think this resin's starting to cool down. What's it at now? Yeah, you're right, it's down to 148. 148, so we're dropping. So we fell short by about 20 degrees, which isn't much. You can definitely tell that the kernels wanted to do something, it was starting to let air out, which means they were starting to expand but we just couldn't quite get it to pop. Well, I think I'll leave this for a few more minutes, but I don't think anything's gonna happen, but hey, you never know. Well, it's now been a few more minutes and it started to cool down, but you can see here that all the kernels have started to get a bubble layer around it, but unfortunately we just still can't get that pop. Well, it's pretty disappointing that we couldn't get these things to pop, but there is one more thing we could try. That's right. A lot of you guys said in the comments that we didn't use the turntable in the microwave, therefore it was affecting our results. So we're going to throw this one in the microwave and we'll put it on the turntable. That's 30 seconds. Wow, that's, we're coming up on a minute 20. Still nothing. Alright, that's two minutes. I'm going to stop it there and take a look. Alright, let's check the temp on that. What are we at? Well, would you look at that? We got it to 166 and still nothing has happened. 
All right, we're gonna try one more time. I've moved the blank to the outside of the table, so hopefully that might make a difference. It did make it a little harder for me to film though, because I can't set that focus point for you. Oh, there we go, we've got some splittage. Wow, look at that. That looks awesome. You know what, guys? I'm going to stop it right there, because that's a cool-looking blank. Right, Jake, check that temperature. Right there, 202. 202 degrees. Right in that center. Wow. 200 degrees take a look at this can you believe it all that water that was inside the kernel expanded probably turned straight into steam and caused this reaction inside the resin that looks unbelievable i've never seen anything like it well guys unfortunately that one didn't go to plan we really wanted those kernels to pop while the resin was curing and we got really close we're only 20 degrees off, but in the microwave, we got to 200 degrees, and that's what caused that massive fracture. Now, I think the best thing to do with this blank is we'll put it in the vac chamber, we'll put a different color in it, and then we'll turn on the lathe. But that's gonna be in a future episode. Well, that's it for this bonus video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.